Well guys, welcome back to another video of Some Trisha Adventures. Now a couple weeks ago, I told you guys that I will be having a Q&A and in this video, I'm gonna be answering all your questions that you guys have uh, asked me. So guys, I've got a fair few questions to answer, so let's get straight into it. Alrighty guys, just before the Q&A starts, I do apologize for any mispronunciations of any um, of you guys' names. I'm gonna give it my best shot, so do forgive me if I do pronounce your name wrong. Um, yeah, I'll give it my best shot and I'll see how it goes. But anyway, let's get straight into the Q&A. Alrighty guys, so John T's Fishing on Instagram asks, what is the reason you fish? Well, to be honest with you there, John T, I would have to say, like, ever since I was a kid, I've always loved fishing, like, fishing with my dad out in the boat and fishing off land, and I guess it was the fact that, like, you never actually knew what you're going to catch, and, like, you never know if you're going to hook up to a big one, small one, a lot. It's just always that suspense, and, like, when you do finally get a fish after casting for hours and hours of casting lures and baits and all that, when you do get a fish, it's just something, like, awesome. Like, everyone, everyone knows the feeling of catching a fish after hours of fishing, and I guess that's just... I guess that's why I do it, to be honest with you. And also, um, I guess, well, uh, giving my YouTube channel, I guess it's just something that um, I strive for. And especially with my YouTube channel, like, at the moment, like, I just love, like, hearing you guys' feedback on it and seeing, like, they guys enjoy my videos and, and giving you guys advice on, like, different things, the fishing in South Australia and all that. And I guess that's another reason why I do it, because it actually makes me feel good, like, to see that people actually enjoy my videos. So that's most probably one of the reasons why I do fish. Alrighty, the next question is asked by Ethan Stew on Instagram and he asked, what is my go-to hard body lure for brim? Now, when I fish for brim, I do ha actually have different um, lures that I like to try out depending on like whether the water's a little bit murkier or whether it's a bit of an overcast day. And the lure that I tend to use when the water's a little bit cleaner is this little bad boy here. Now, this one here, there it goes, just picked it up now, is the Darwin Double Clutch 60mm in Ghost Wakasaki, I believe it's called. And I find it works really well for me on brim and all that around the pontoons and it's got a beautiful color like a bait fish So yeah, that's my go-to brim lure when the water's a little bit clearer and it's harder to get a bit of a bite That's one of the lures that I prefer to use now when the water is a little bit murkier I like to chuck in something a little bit darker now. This is my go-to lure when the water is a little bit murkier That one there is called the FX 40 by eco gear and hence it is quite a darker lure it just works really well getting the brim, um, giving that harder bite, especially when the water is quite a little bit murkier. Rightio, so the next question here is asked by Aleko on Instagram. He asks, what is your favorite lure and fish to target? Now, I know this is quite a popular lure and I know a lot of people are gonna say that I'm a bandwagon for it and all that, but I just find it's, a, it's absolutely great lure. I can't fault it with anything. And that lure here is the Z-Man two and a half inch grubs. And I have literally caught virtually every species or every estuary species on this particular lure. So I've caught small mulloway in the Coorong, big brim, um, snook, salmon, uh, even mullet, believe it or not. Like, it's just a great lure, versatile lure, has a beautiful action, and actually changes to a different color as the water hits it. So anyways, that is the Z-Man two and a half inch grub. And also, my favorite fish uh, to target would have to be snapper. I love the way they bite, I love the way they run, I love the way that you can target them on um, jigs, bait, lures, soft plastics, all of that. It's just such a versatile species and they are just the best. And they even taste nice too, so that would have to be my favorite fish to target. Now, Isaac on Instagram asks, what is my favorite squid jig? Alrighty, now this one here may be a little controversial. I know a lot of people have different, um, or their favorite squid jags when they're fishing for squid. To me, I just find it pays matching what's actually in the water. So as you may have heard it, the famous saying, match the hatch. So if there's a lot of garfish in the water, Tommies, mackerel, all those types of species, I will actually go to a, like a bluer sort of squid jag. So I just like to match what's in the water and match what the squid are gonna be feeding on. So I would have to say that my go-to squid jag would have to be the Dawa Emerald squid jags. Now the reason why I like these squid jags is one, they're actually really affordable and I find that they're a bang for your buck. They're a beautiful looking squid jag and for the price of, I reckon they're around $12, $13, you can't beat them. And another reason why I like them is because they've got a versatile range of colors. As you can see, this one here is like really close to either a garfish, mackerel, tommy. And as I said earlier before, I like to match the hatch and use actually what's in the water. So I'm pretty sure that this particular color here is called the Glow Belly O Tiger. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And this next color here, as you can see, I'm sticking to the uh, pattern of blues. This color here, I believe is called the Laser Kibinago from memory. That is another great lure that we like to use and it seems to work really well for me. Next question is asked by Caleb Smith on YouTube. 
And he says, what is your goals for land-based fishing this summer? And he also says, what's your all-rounder uh, whiting squid garfish combo? Well, to be completely honest with you there, Caleb, I'd have to say that this summer, we really want to do a lot more of um, fishing around the brims, fishing, um, sight fishing and all that. I really want to get a bit more footage for you guys. So like, I really want to get some surface action, like early morning brim action. Uh, that'd be absolutely awesome. So if we get some film and footage of that, I'll be absolutely stoked. And I'd also love to get a bit of uh, yellowfin whiting um, on popper action this summer. That'll be absolutely awesome to get that on film. They are some of my ambitions that I would like to do this summer. And getting back to the other part of your question, Caleb, I'd have to suggest the Shimano Sedona matched up with a Katana uh, rod, two to four kilo. I use it for my whiting and squid fishing and for a Banksy buck rod, you can't beat it. Now the next question is asked by David Fillery on YouTube. He says, what can you catch on bloodworms? So to answer your question there, David, I'd have to say that virtually any estuary species that we get in South Australia would absolutely love a bloodworm. Now, to be honest with you, if you've got live bloodworms, that is absolutely perfect. Most of the shops or tackle shops these days sell preserved bloodworms. And to be completely honest with you, I believe that brim, a uh, small mulloway, I've actually heard a small mulloway being caught on bloodworms. Whiting, uh, both yellowfin and King George, salmon trout, mullet, all those types of species will take your bloodworms. So for the next question, JL on YouTube asks, have you ever fished the Warren Reservoir? Now, to be completely honest with you there, I haven't fished the Warren Reservoir yet. However, that is something that I would like to do um, further on in the year. Now, the next question is asked by Peter Palomaros on YouTube. I believe that's how I say your name. Correct me if I'm wrong. And his question that he asks is, what is the biggest fish I've caught? Now, to be quite honest with you, my biggest fish I reckon I've caught would have to be a snapper. And I reckon I caught that when I was around 11 years old. That was actually my first big snap I've caught over uh, 60 centimeters. And to my surprise, that one there went 12 and a half kilos off the top of my head. I'll pop a quick picture up on the screen for you. It's not a great photo, but as you can see, like judging by the size of that fish, I reckon it went over, it was definitely over a meter. I didn't really get a good measure on it, but it was definitely um, my biggest snapper to date. And if you count gummy sharks, I have caught gummy sharks around 15 kilo, but as the name suggests, they're a shark. So I wouldn't really count that as a fish. Now the next question is asked by Dante Mussarella on YouTube. He says, what fish can you catch using bloodworms? And where are the best locations on the York Peninsula for bloodworm fishing? So to be completely honest with you, Dante, I'd have to say that virtually any species that live in the estuary will take liking to a bloodworm. Now for the second part of your question, I would suggest heading around to Wallaroo, Port Victoria, uh, around that area way. Um, you could shoot back over to Port Clinton if you really want, but I would suggest around Port Victoria, um, Wallaroo way. Okay, for the next question, lacrossinator1 on YouTube asks, how do you know when the bloodworms are running? Now this one here is actually a really good question there, lacrossinator. A lot of people are actually quite uneducated as to when the bloodworms actually run. Now from experience, I'd have to say that around two to three days after the new moon in the months of July and August have actually been what we found that we've got the most of our bloodworms. Now this is mostly around the time from two to three days um, in that particular time period of that week. This is when the bloodworms actually start rising from the ground and start heading their way out to sea to spawn with the current. Alrighty, so the lucky last question is asked by JT Rules 24 and he says, and he says, what combo do you use for whiting? Now, a lot of people believe that because whiting are whiting, that you have to expend a million bucks on a combo. I disagree with that there. I believe that you can get a really good combo for under $200 that will be absolutely fine for whiting fishing. Now, the combo that I use is the Shimano Sedona 2500 matched up with the Shimano Katana rod, as I said earlier before in the question before. This is a really good combo. I've had it for absolutely ages. It hasn't failed me. I've still been able to hook the exact same amount of fish as I would if I were using a T-curve um, or high end rod like that. It may be a little bit more comfortable using a T-curve. I'm not gonna doubt you on that one, but I do believe that you still can catch fish on cheaper gear. So guys, I really do hope you enjoyed that video. I just wanna say big thanks for all the people that asked questions. I very much do appreciate all your support, especially with asking questions and all that. Um, it was really good to answer a few of you guys' questions. It's really good to um, get to know some of you and see what you guys really wanted to know. So I hope that this answers some of your questions, guys. If it hasn't, feel free to send me a DM and I'll be more than happy to answer some of your questions. So anyway, guys, this year, my main ambition is to make it to 1,000 subscribers. I know it is a lot, but we are growing really quickly on this channel. I've been doing it for a few years now, and I reckon that by the end of the year that we can reach 1,000 subscribers with your help. So if you haven't yet, please feel free to subscribe. And also, guys, if you do hit the bell next to the actual subscribe button, you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. 
So anyway guys, if you could please like, subscribe and share with your mates, that would be absolutely awesome. And for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.